turn this channel back up because I really want to get into the car scene more. It's been a rough fucking journey for me with this car stuff. I want to give shout outs to SRT Jade. I really fuck with her content. Because I watch YouTube a lot and one day she popped up on like my recommended feed or whatever. And I started watching her videos. I'm like, damn, she lit. And it was like inspiring. I like the type of videos that she makes and the way she talks and like, she just cool. I fuck with her vibe. And I DM'd her and I was like, you making me want to start my own channel, love your content. I got an RT, da da da. She was like, just do it, start one, just go for it. So, shout outs to SRT Jade for giving me the motherfucking courage to hop on here. Since this is like my first video, I kind of want to get into like my car journey, I guess. And then how I bought my car, why I bought my car, what is my payments and all type of stuff. We gonna get to the nitty gritty. So I had a couple of cars before this one. Hold on. And I'm on my fifth car right now. This is the fifth car I've ever had. My first car, it was a big ass Chevy Traverse that my grandma gave to me and I fucking totaled it. I don't know if y'all can see. I totaled it. And then I got a Toyota Corolla. Totaled that one too. <laughs> Crashed into a Jeep. And then I had a Chevy Malibu. She was cute. She was cool. But I didn't like her that much. Cause she had like um like sun damage on the hood. So I was like, fuck that. I got tired of it. And then last year I met I met some friends. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Sims and shout out to Johnson. I didn't really like cars. I didn't know anything about cars like at all. But when I met them, they were into cars heavy. My boy Sims have has a scat pack and then johnson he had a um infinity q50 they were in the cars heavy and just hanging out with them and like learning about cars and stuff i was like damn this is like kind of cool so shout out to y'all because y'all really got me interested in this car shit for real so after i met them i was like damn this is kind of cool i'm gonna charge you this is cool but keep in mind i didn't know shit about char i didn't know shit about cars at all so i fucked up and i got a dodge charger sxt I don't remember what year it was. This is it. If I knew what I knew now, if I knew then what I knew now, I would not have gotten that bitch. It was a waste of time and money getting the SXT because I didn't know anything about cars. I didn't know it was a difference in the scat pack and the SXT. I didn't know nothing about no engine. I didn't know anything. I just wanted to be cool. I wanted to be cool. So I got this car. And this car gave me hell. Like, it was trash. I was getting clowned on because it was a V6 or whatever. I was getting clowned on. I was losing races and shit. It was just, it was bad. And I only had that car for like six months. Because when day, after doing more research and like as I was learning throughout the months about cars, I was like, why did I buy this SXT? Why did I buy this piece of junk? One month, I was looking for used scat packs, used RTs. And so I really started saving. In one month, I saved up maybe like three thousand dollars, and I think I put I put a thousand of it onto my credit card. Well, not onto my credit card. I paid off a thousand dollars on my credit card, and then I had two thousand left. So I was like, I'm gonna try to make this two thousand work on a down payment for RT. I was shopping around for the RT, and I found this bitch. But this is where I hate it. My Essex, the, this green shit, so bad. I hate it. Because I didn't know, once again, I was still learning. I didn't know what um, negative equity meant. I learned that um, I had built a lot of negative equity on that car. So that made the buying process kind of harder, trade, trying to trade it in. Because at first, this car, my RT, it was going for 35K. But then when I told them I wanted to trade in, they were like, yeah, you got negative equity, so you're going to have to pay some more. <sighs> So the negative equity from the trade-in, now I'm paying like 43,000 for this car. For the Charger, for the SXT, for the V6, I was paying 412 a month for this piece of junk. And that's kind of like high. I think that's a high car payment. Don't get me wrong, my car payment now is really, really high. But after learning how to like budget myself, I feel like I'm doing better now with this car payment than I was with the SXT for some fucking reason. I'm paying, 780 a month for my RT and that is kind of bad but I don't care I love this car I fuck with her I'm gonna keep her forever I'm gonna try to keep her forever 
I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. Oh, APRs. I forgot my APR is like 3% or something. So that's good. If I were to give y'all any advice, please, 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 please do not try to get into this shit fast like how I did and want to be cool and get a V6. Don't get the SXT. Please don't do it because you're going to regret it. In my opinion, I regretted it. If I would have took the advice that everybody was giving to me at the time, I would have just waited and saved. It was really bad. That was the worst decision I ever made in my life was buying it. So please, please, if you want to get a charger, don't don't settle for the SXT. Don't do it. And then another reason why I had so much negative equity was because one, I think I ran up the miles a lot. I traded it in at like 77,000 miles, I think. It was a lot. That's a lot for me. I don't like getting a car, a used car that has over 50,000 miles. I got my RT at 17,000 miles. So for me, I feel like that's a good deal. And right now I'm sitting at 25. Well, basically 26,000. I was tripping when I had that green car. I really was. Cause I was trying to make it loud and everything. Just don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I was trying to make it loud. I put Flowmasters in my SXT and it sounded awful. I might put a big clip of it in here and I thought I was cool. I thought I was so cool. Don't fucking do it. I'm glad I've learned. So this page is gonna be for the girlies that wanna learn and come along my journey with me. It's gonna be hella shit coming. I got hella shit I wanna do to this car but that's gonna be for another video. Subscribe, like and subscribe. I'm gonna put my socials. Follow SRTJ, subscribe to SRTJ. I fucks with her heavy. Yeah, stay tuned, y'all.